Hello everyone. Big game out here. Back again with another pickups. Pickups number 80. Gonna do things a little bit different this time. I've got uh got some parcels. Yeah, I've got uh some from eBay, some from Music Magpie and some from CEX. So I thought I'd open them. Show you a bit of a uh, live unboxing. But first, we've got a Nevermore. So this is a Indian Porter, 5%. So got me a uh, lovely beer, 52 glass as you do. I'm gonna crack this open. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, it's very, very nice dark Porter, I'm looking at. Loads of head on it. All right. So while we let that sell, we're gonna look at this month's Retro Gamer Mag. Can't show you the front because most of these have got my address on. All right. So, this month's one. Ah, oh, look, it's about the N64. Very cool design, that, look at that. So what we got in here then? Let's say what it's about. Uh, where's the front page that tells you everything? So, inside the Nintendo 64. Oh, we've got the Evolution of Dizzy. I bet old Dave will be waiting. Can't wait to read that page. It's uh, page 32 if you want to read it, Dave. There you go. Look, the ev Evolution of Dizzy. In fact, we're uh, flicked to page 32 just for you. Oh, it's a oh look at that. There you go, Dave. <laughs> oh, there's loads of pages on Dizzy. Yeah, but that's uh, this month's Retro Gamer, number 224. Should be for August, is it? August or September, one of them. All right. So my old Porter's head's gone now, let's have a little taste. It's not bad. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I don't know that I've been on nights for a week and I had a beer, so this is my first one. So, get rid of them bits, there's a... Marcus over at Dad and Laz does. <laughs> the old grogs or whatever he calls them. <clears throat> right, so we've got some eBay purchases. So I can't show you this one at all because it's got my address on the front and the seller's address on the back. So basically I was having a look through my 360 collection. And I was trying to fill in the gaps for B. So a lot of these titles will be games that begin with B. So first one is the Borderlands 2 add-on pack. So yeah, I chucked in a best offer on eBay. Got it less than CEX price. And of course you get to see what it's like, so that is in lovely condition. What I didn't think is where I'm going to put everything once I've shown it. Because I'm not smart like that. Uh, that too. Right, I found somewhere. Right, again, this person's got their address on the back, so I can't show you this one. But we have got... Ah, this one's quite a hard one to find. CEX haven't got any in stock. And I actually paid £17 for this, believe it or not. And that's uh, Blitz the League 2, the second one. CEX stock it for 18 But none in stock. So I found this on eBay, I think you had it out for like 22 free postage. Chucked him £17 and he accepted, it's probably been sitting there for a while. So yeah, nice little uh, American football game there for you, Russ the Retro Bear. Alright, and the last eBay purchase, kind of, I'll explain in a second. 
is, now this one was extremely cheap. This is, I think, £12 on CX, and I think I paid £6.50 for this on eBay. And that's Disney's Bolt. And uh, it's meant to be quite a fun game and pretty easy. There you go, nice and complete with its manual. This the right way around now. So yeah, I was happy to tick that off because I've missed out on that. Someone was giving one away not long ago and I missed it. So finally managed to pick it up. Right, so the reason I say is that's kind of the end of the eBay is because I managed to find this company, Music Magpie. And um, they sell on eBay and if you buy two games, they knock... 5% off. So I found two games which was just under eBay uh, CEX price, which then of course you get free postage with Music Magpie, and then you got the 5% off. So, in all, if I was to order these on CEX, they would have cost me about £5 more, I think. So, let's see if they're any good though, that is the question. So, the first one is Legends. Of the Guardians, Legend of the Guardians, the Al Gahu. Again, this is meant to be easy, thousand G. Feels good. Oh, it's complete. Now the reason I got this is because of the next game. As I said, I was going for the ones that begin with B to finish them off, but <clears throat> I couldn't find anything which was like a a better value or that I needed basically. So I picked that up because I thought, oh, you know what, I really need that. But what I did get, and it feels good as well, is Blitz the League, the first one. Feels good. Again, American football game. It's complete. We've got two wins from Music Magpie. Two wins from Music Magpie. We can't go wrong. Very happy with that. Alright, so that brings us on to CEX. So I believe there's five games here. I think a couple of them are Connect games. I know what this one is because it had one of them stupid labels on it. It feels quite light, which is a shame if it is, because it's one of the more tricky ones to find. I was with Scott Glory under and he found this. I don't know. It feels really light. Feels really light. I think I can see something in there though. No. Oh, it's a foul. It's going back. What I say? Lost my phone. <clears throat> that was three pound. Disney's Brave. Oh, not. Is it Disney's Brave? No. Brave or Warriors Tale. Disney's Brave's the other one. So, oh, that, that's a shame. Because other than the fact it's got no manual, it's in pretty good condition. But uh, sadly, it's going into the fail pile. Right, now this one, God knows what they've been doing with this. It's got a massive split in the side there. It looks like someone's run it over. So, uh, yeah, this one didn't look good. So I'm hoping the receipt's in there because I've got a feeling it might be going back. Who knows? Alright. We're in. Yeah, there's a receipt. It feels light anyway. Oh, it's been proper run over this one. Oh, it's, it's complete. I'll tell you what, I'm going to need the box off of that Brave. And this one is Blaze Blue. The Extended Shift, or whatever it's called. Continuum Shift Extent. But as you can see, someone's run it over. But it's good, as long as the disc is fine, let's have a check of the disc. Yeah, disc is good. Manual is good. It felt really like it's like one page. But yeah, that is definitely getting the box upgrade quickly. So we'll leave that to one side with that Disney, uh, not Disney with the Brave and Warriors towel. Oh, don't need that receipt anymore. Right. Next up. 
This one feels good. Oh, this, this one's a good one, this one. Oh, I'm not sure about the cover though. Oh, I'm not too sure about this one. So it is Cabela's Dangerous Adventures. You're probably looking at it thinking, oh, what's wrong with that? Well, it looks like someone's crossed it. Let's check the old inlay, see if it's any good. But look at it, it's all squashed up. It's like someone's keyed it or knifed it or something. But it is complete. It will need a manual upgrade at some point. You've got to tear in the manual there. But it's complete. And is that in oh, the inlay is actually good, it's just a box. So again, I've got another box, so that will just be a box upgrade. Disc is fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I say I'll try and get a manual at some point if I come across one in a charity shop or something. But yeah, for now that's a win. So two in this one. So these are the two connect games that I've got. And they feel heavy, I don't know if that's because I picked them both up together. I'll go for the cheap one of the two first. So we have got Game Party in Motion for the Connect. So again, this is like one of those Wii Sports kind of, kind of games where you just got loads of different sports in it. 16, in, uh, to be exact, 16 classic arcade games rather than sports games. But it feels good, and that's because it is good. We've got a manual. So yeah, that takes us down to 11 Connect games needed. And I'm hoping this next one, oh, this is definitely a winner, feels good again. It's going to take us down to the final 10 Connect games that we need for the set. And that is Winter Stars. So, yeah. Yes, it's a good one. Winter Stars for the Connect. Lovely. So, 10 left to get. There's nine of them available in CX. I might do a CX roulette video of them nine and see how they come. And then the last one, I'm probably going to have to spend a bit on EUA to get because there never seems to be any copies around. But happy with them. Right. So what have I been buying? So again, sticking with the 360. Just a couple of the games when I was out in my local CEX that I wanted to pick up. Don't know much about this one, but it looks really good. It's uh, Eat Lead. Can't go wrong with artwork like that. And I think it was only like £1.50 or something, £2 maybe. It may, might even be a pound, I can't remember now. But I opened it up and it had the manual in there nice and complete. So I picked that up. And one I'm looking forward to playing is Football Manager 2007. I love my football management strategy style games, so when I found this, I think it was about £5, I've had some credit and bought it, but uh, yeah, I opened it up, it looked like it had never been touched. Massive thick manual in there. So yeah, that is, I think I still, I think I need Football Manager 2008, which is the expensive one. Well, I say expensive, more expensive than that one. And then, last two games, right, so one of them is a Switch game. So this one has literally just come out, like, a couple of weeks ago. And um, I was going to pre-order it and I didn't bother, and then it sold out on the game collection. I'm like, oh great, what am I going to do now? And then I was just looking on eBay, uh, not eBay, I was looking on Amazon. And it came up for a really good price, cheaper than game collection, and it was offering next day delivery. So this turned up, I believe, Wednesday. Well, I think I ordered it on Tuesday and it turned up on Wednesday. And that's Greek, or Grek, whatever you want to say it. Which is uh, Memories of Azu, which looks like a really, really good platformer game. I've watched some gameplay of it. It's made by Team 17. And... Yeah, I had to get it. 
I was, I was going to pre-order it, but I didn't bother. I managed to get it cheaper, so I was happy with that. And the last game for this week's episode. These are getting shorter. Oh, Chicken Man will be happy. There you go. Another mention for the Chicken Man. Feed me chicken. So, last one up is my shelf game. Yeah, finally managed to get it. It's been a month since we went on. But for the PlayStation 1, I've managed to get myself a copy of Running Wild. Which looks like an absolute crazy racing game. Forget your Nippon Marathons. You need this. And uh, absolutely lovely condition. So I was watching this for a while. Guy had it up for like 30 quid. And I thought, that's nowhere near what I want to pay for it. And he had like no best offer or anything. Then he lowered it down to 25 and I'm like, still a bit much. Then he sent out an offer, £22, so I snapped it up. So £8 cheaper than what he had it listed as. Not bad. But yeah, probably probably paid £21.50 too much, probably a 50p game. But a shelf game, you got to get it. And uh, for Mark, you don't need this one. This is... Uh, Zero one six three zero. If you still watch my videos, anyway. <laughs> Saw you put one up the other day. Watched it. It's pretty good. So that's it. Nice and short again. A few wins, a few fouls, one to go back. So uh, yeah, not too bad. I need the one. So that just leaves me to say, thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.